don't have any whipped cream. No, no, like the chocolate. Like the chocolate? Yes, yes we have that. Yeah, I saw in the fridge. I thought there was Also, Mario, where it says reasons for requesting. <clears throat> Hey, we're live. Let's uh, give it a couple of minutes. Mr. Krasker, glad you can make it again. I think that's, uh, what, three for three today? Thank you, I appreciate that. Wish I could get a little more light in here. I gotta set up my light stand. Uh, so, making dessert. And uh, I'm gonna start now. People can catch up, because they can go back and video. So this is what I got. Waffle bowl maker. So I'm going to make my world famous. Hey, David D. Glad you can make it. I was uh, start to say, I'm going to make my uh, world famous pizzella batter. Make a waffle bowl. So it's going to be a cookie. And we're going to have dessert. So this is going to take a few minutes to uh, heat up. So I unplugged my Breville. And uh, I'm plugging in this bad boy here. This takes nothing for power. And... Um, I don't care to get a big bowl to make the batter because that's going to be really hard to pour in there. So I thought, I says, hey, I'm going to make a, well, usually I do an eight egg uh, batch. I'm going to just do two eggs because when I made the breakfast waffles, I only needed one egg to make three bowls. So I'm actually going to mix it right in here and I got a little spout. So I thought, I'm sure other people have done such things, but I figured that was genius, right? So. Get our two eggs in there. And I would get a shell in there, but I'll get that right out. Easy peasy. Second egg, and that looks good. Well, maybe I'm lying a little bit. Usually I crack the egg on a hard surface, and when I don't do that, what ends up happening is the egg doesn't break as much as it should or crack as much as it should, and then I end up having to put my clean fingers in the bowl. So, of course, that one piece of shell is giving me a hard time. I think I heard something. If you wet your finger in water, the shell will come right out. Anybody hear such things? Such crazy things? Ah, got it. Oh, I thought I had it. There we go. Now I got it. Oh. Ah. As Ivy would say, ah! All right. Since uh, this is a really small container, I'm going to beat the eggs for just a second. Um, let me get this. This is my small beater. I, this is, I bought this first when I moved into the house. Uh, cheap money. But then uh, from Amazon, I bought the big KitchenAid, six quart, with the hand crank in the back for $125 shipped from Amazon. Refurbished, but man, is that thing a workhorse. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just do it. So usually I put in eight eggs, and I'm doing two eggs, so it's a quarter. So uh, usually it's two cups of sugar. So I'm going to do a half a cup of sugar. I uh, poured everything in advance so I could save you a little bit of time. Let's get this camera a little bit lower here. Okay. And usually it's a cup of oil. So I'm going to put corn oil, vegetable oil, whatever you got. It's all good. Let's get some of that in there. Because I did spill a drop or two. It says uh, there's three online. That's me. Uh, oh, and Mr. Krasker. The 
kids mixers and John the kitchen aid. Um, I've had really good luck with mine. My sister's had really good luck with hers. Haven't had any issues. So I'm sh everything's junk these days. If you really think about, it. I mean, I think there's some really good like Vitamix uh, mixers. Uh, sorry, blenders and stuff like that. But I've had zero problems. And for hundred twenty-five dollars for a six quart. And if I get a chance, I'll show you. It's underneath things onyx black. Things awesome. Um, so I got that, and now I got to put in my secret flavor formula, and I can't show you that. Because I'd be breaking some sort of law, I think. Yeah, my uh, parents, my mother had a blender. I don't know who made it. I don't remember. But that thing was like 30 plus years old. And then finally the gears all stripped out. And you can't get parts, you know, for a lot of that stuff now. Uh, yeah, this eBay, now you can get anything online. But we're talking the blender broke 20 years ago. You know what I mean? So let's get this stirring up a little bit. It's probably going to give you a lot of feedback noise. Yeah, that's nice. I hope I have enough to make three bowls here. Okay. Um, usually for eight cups... Uh, excuse me, eight eggs. I use anywhere around five cups of flour. Now, I like making the batter a little thinner for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, with the thinner batter, the patellas can be thinner, and they crisp up golden brown the way I like them. If you let the batter get thicker, the patellas are thicker, and they don't cook the way I like it, so that's number one. Number two, when you're making an eight-egg batter, it takes a, a two hours from beginning to end, and that means from starting to make the batter to finish and clean up. Two hours. And the batter starts to thicken as time goes on. So I like to make sure, again, that I use a thinner batter for that. So um, usually five cups, so one and a quarter cups. I got about a, a cup of flour here. I'm going to pop that in there. I'll start out with about a cup of that. We'll go slow. I'm going to ha have to use a spatula, no question about that. That actually might be enough flour in there. My mother, we bought her a KitchenAid maybe 20 years ago when that other one failed. Still going strong. And it, it looks similar to mine, but mine's got the hand crank in the back. Where hers, you just put the bowl on the platter and then lock it in place. Mine has the crank to lift the whole bowl assembly up. Okay. That's as thick as I want to make it. I'm not even going to put in the rest of that flour. So uh, let me get that out of the way. First things first unplug that next thing is to uh, pop out the these right here and there's a very important reason that I am doing that and I'm going to explain why this is a critical step so you don't want to forget Donna took the other one. Donna. I've been robbed of my batter licking. Okay. Can you grab my little flashlight off the table? And let me get a spatula. I need that. Right 
you have to get in there, right? Okay. I want to show you something here. And I don't know if you could see it clearly last time around. That's why I want to show you here. If I lift this bowl up here, you cannot see it. That's why I'm getting the flashlight. There's a little line right about there. You're probably not going to see it. It's about along the line of where this crease is in the, in, the, in the bowl. That's the fill line. So you do not want to fill past there because it will ooze out everywhere. So um, this batter is thicker than I wanted it to be, unfortunately, but that's okay. So we're going to pop that in there. And patella batter expands a lot. Um, so I may have actually put too much, so I'm going to scoop a little bit out. First one's going to be an experiment. All right. I'm going to close that. That's going to take two to four minutes to cook. Uh, we'll see how it looks when I get it the way I want it. Um, Looks like we have six people, six people, and uh, one of those would be mine from the spare machine. So I got five people on there. Oh, Beanie, big fan of this. I missed the first five minutes. Um, so I enabled the option that will allow you to go back into the video. So um, you can do that. Uh, I believe you should be able to uh, drag the cursor to the left. Uh, and then when you want to jump ahead, you can just hit the live button. If it will not let you do that for some reason, uh, it, after I stop the show, it'll probably take a half an hour before you'll be able to actually go back and watch. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, uh, I didn't set the timer. I probably was running my mouth for a minute, so we're going to check it at two minutes. Um, so, um, I went to... Uh, stop the shop not BJ's because uh had to pick up some uh jimmies or chocolate sprinkles some people refer them as um ran out let's take a look at the spatter quick oh okay well, it's, it's cooking oh sorry something in my eye uh the outside is cooking faster than I expected it to um, that's why I like that liquidy batter. It flows good. And I probably needed a little more batter, but that's okay. Because uh, we have enough here for at least one more, maybe two. Um, the thing about patellas is we cook them thin. You put them in a batter like this, and it's a different story. So a lot of the recipes come with this. They, they change the recipe up a little bit to uh, thin it out and stuff. Take another look at that. It's not toasting the way I'd like it to. It's not too bad, but I'm gonna let it keep going. I'm gonna let it go for another minute and we'll see how it looks. <clears throat> when I make the patellas, you know, they're about this big, you know, I got the patella maker. Um, what I like to do is, you know, like I said, I make the batter thinner because it uh, makes thinner cookie and they brown better the way I like them. I don't like them when they're all that yellow consistency. I like that golden brown. But as they cool down, you break them into quarters and then you dip, no double dipping. That's a rule. You dip it into the batter and you eat it. So you have a fresh, warm patella and then you have some of the batter there with, uh, you know, flour, egg, sugar, um, uh, vegetable oil, and my secret ingredient that you're not supposed to see. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yes, they should be crunchy. Some people make them and they're soft, and uh, that's not the way it should be. I don't know how well it will work with the waffle bun maker because it ha does have a thick wall. That's why I, th I wanted the thinner batter would have cooked a little better. Let's take another look here. It's probably going to brown more than I like it, but let's take a look. Ooh, hot. Usually I could take this out with my hand, but I can't this time. Take a look, see what it looks like underneath. Ooh. All right, that is a thick bowl. These will never cook fully, that's for sure. I'm gonna put this back in and I'm gonna cook it for four minutes. Otherwise, it's not gonna be crunchy inside. So we'll uh, start this another minute. 
I could probably add a, a little more oil to this batter to, to get it a, a little more runny. Um, the eggs are usually smaller than I get too. Usually I use extra large eggs. I only had a large. I am going to throw a little more oil in there. Just a little bit. That's it. I probably could have added a little water too, but... Okay, yeah, that softened it up a little bit. That's good. be curious how well these work out to make pizzella waffle bowls all right that's about four minutes so what I'm gonna do is uh start the next one and if this doesn't crisp up I'll just pop it back in when I'm done we'll go for it again you can see that right there okay let's get the next one in there and I gotta make sure I put a little bit more batter than last time this looks like it's, I should have did a three egg batter, because I think this is only going to be enough to do two bowls. When I made the pancake batter, uh, the recipe was different, so it took a little, it expanded differently, and uh, it made three. So we'll set that for four. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, this is crispy. Mmm, oh, I love the taste of that. Now, I'm going to have to uh, get myself, oh, <laughs> uh, they should be crunchy. Uh, Mr. Kraska, I have been wanting to use a pressure cooker controller on a waffle maker to give it better temperature control. Um, I, I don't know. I, I've never taken one apart, but I got to believe that there's just a, a simple... Uh, maybe thermistor or, or something to that effect and it just turns off and on oh and we've got batter coming out the side that's one way to taste the batter Bur while burning my finger uh, I remember what, was the machine expensive this was uh, you're gonna make me think here you know what? I cannot tell you right now how much I paid for it. Just give me a second. I have the flip, too. You might be able to see that in the background. That's the flip. That's the Belgium uh, waffle maker. Okay, let me look at my orders quick. Orders. It's not being quick for me, but that's okay. The prices on this stuff vary. Like the uh, the uh, Belgium waffle maker, the flip is awesome. I like it. It's a small package. Um, so this, ah, it's not giving me much more detail. Hold on. So this is twenty three forty nine for that waffle bowl maker, and for the flip, I pay probably a little more than that. But the price has gone up since, so I'm just gonna go by, you know, twenty five with tax. So depending on where you live, that could change, right? or um you know maybe 35 for the flip but the prices on amazon are weird so if you can find something like this at walmart i think you're better off walmart i'm beginning to realize yeah they may not stock the stuff all the time but uh let's uh hit this live button here there we go all right let's take a look at this after two and a half and this may not have been fully heated so it may start to cook faster oh look at that bowl huh Ooh. Break off some of this. You know, I never had a problem with uh, putting the right amount in here till now. There we go. Now I got some uh, little cookies. Ah. I think I hit the wrong button on my tablet. Yeah, a um, couple things to keep in mind with this. It does not have a power switch. You shut it off and on by plugging it in and turning it off uh, and unplugging it. There's a re little red light here. When you first plug it in, you know, same thing with the flip. 
is it turns red. As soon as the light goes off, it's at temperature. Um, Patellas, when I use the Patella Maker, I think um, I get a cook, a, it cooks a pair of them. If I make the batter thin like I like it, does it in a minute, I think. These are very good. Watch the I only have two waffle bowls, I think. Okay. Let's take a look. This is going to stay in there a little longer. Now you can look at me. Now, that's unfortunate. This won't make a third. If I pull out my pizzella maker, but... Uh, You want to get a spoon? I have a flip, but I like it when you made the breakfast bowl with that one. Yeah, with the, uh, I bet that would make a good cereal bowl. Yeah, um, the only thing I'd worry about the cereal, uh, what does the wife think of your gadget addiction? It's not a gadget addiction. I mean, if you think about it, do I like to, hold on, uh, Oh, that's so good. I wish you could taste this. You saw me do the recipe, so you can do it. Uh, use whatever flavoring you want, vanilla, uh, anise oil, anything like that. So, I've had the flip for a long time because I wanted a Belgium waffle maker. Um, the toaster oven, I wasn't 100% happy with the old one. This one's okay, the Breville does okay. Um, the air fryer was, uh, I think, good for me because we're, <laughs> you can't have this, so just so you know, the raw batter. Mm. Ah. All right, maybe you can stand a little longer. Um, the air fryer I use every day to cook, heating up a whole oven. Waiting it 10 15 minutes for it to preheat and stuff like that. I would be going out to eat still every day. So, the air fryer for me is um, can I have some? No, because Give her a piece of this isn't cooked yet. Dang it. Um, we've had some good fun with the waffle bone maker, so uh, we'll see if it's uh, an addiction. Uh, that I have to get rid of it. I don't think so. It's small enough. I can store it away. New spatula. I think that's going to be good. So, uh, I have an Anox. Anox? I'm not familiar with that brand. Anox. I just refill my water. Be right back with you. He's gonna be a good head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be a cuckoo head. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. I'm tired. Get out of the way. that it's a camera so a camera so that sounds familiar I don't know why maybe I just think it sounds familiar oh man most it depends I've had a few hobbies over the years uh, photography I do although not much at all lately because uh I had to store the gear away for lack of room. Uh, I used to race. Uh, 
I, I with the help of my brother, built a, uh, a race engine, and uh, I used to go up to New England Dragway in New Hampshire. Um, I, uh, you know, little things here and there. Uh, you know, the gadget thing, you know, with this. I recently bought a gadget, just appeared yesterday. I haven't had time to touch it. I bought a bike again. I haven't biked since I was younger. And uh, I want to get out during lunchtime at break to kind of just, you know, get out, breathe some air, a little exercise, you know what I mean? Walking, I could do too, but what fun is that? Oh, commercial oven. Okay. I gotcha. Okay. This is the first box I made. And this is hard. That's good. The second one, this is going to be my bowl. So, you know. Oh, let's get a, a small bowl here. Uh, can I borrow your camera? Yeah. Just going to take a picture, folks. Because my camera is tied up right now. I'm going to unplug the, the Belgium bowl maker and plug back in the Breville. The Breville is very mad at me for unplugging it. Okay. So. I usually use my uh, phone to take all the pictures, and uh, I couldn't do that, obviously, because I'm doing it live from there. I'd love to do it with the laptop, because I have some more flexibility, but it just takes up so much room to do what you want to do, you know? So, all right, one more picture. All right. Now we go on to the good stuff here. Gonna tighten up the ball. The ball came loose. So I got some Briars vanilla. I love this stuff. Um, it's pretty cheap at BJ's. Is it 350 or 450 for two quarts? Go to an ice cream place and I want to charge you five, six dollars for a scoop or two. Um, the other thing is, uh, I had I'll call it a discussion with someone. Oh, well, this place's ice cream is the best. I said I don't know. I like Briars just as much, if not more. And it's easier on the pocket. So, got one scoop here. Two scoops. There we go. That look nice or what? Now, put that there. Take another picture. Sorry again. And, Natalia, do you want some uh, sprinkles? Yes. All right. I knew you would. See if I can open this without causing any destruction. I used the scissors in poking. Yeah, I was thinking I might have to do that. Uh, do you get turkey? I have a couple of times. That's not um, common around here to see it in some of the stores. But, yes, I have had it. And... While it's not fresh in my mind, I believe it was a good ice cream. Or tasted good. I've had some ice cream that just doesn't taste good, you know, it just happens sometimes. Okay. Get some sprinkles on there. Yeah, they're going to get all over the plate. Nothing I can do about it. Um, I was thinking of picking up some whipped cream, but that didn't work. So uh, this is what I'm going to do. Lift this up for a second. There we go. That's better. All right. I don't know if you can get a... Let me zoom in on that. good yeah it does uh, it is good when Briar started using gum 
Turkey Hill went all natural. Yeah, I uh, I was looking at the uh, the briars, and you know, it's 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 a, usually a decent ice cream, and uh, I haven't had any issues with it. So now I'm gonna make it look all fancy to match the plate. Yeah, I didn't do as nice as a job as last time. Sorry about that. So there we go. That's number one. Talia. Yes. Come get your ice cream. Yay! Have a parade. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's get mine going now. Actually. Get this here. Yeah, the, the zigzag cross looks really good. Now, if I had a regular bowl, the ones that you see me use, I'd be having like five scoops in there. I can't say I won't try to get that many in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. I usually just like plain Jane vanilla. Nothing fancy. That me. Mr. Nothing Fancy. Okay. Let's get the ice cream out of the way. It's starting to melt. Here's the next bowl. My bowl. And I gotta think where I put the sprinkles now. Oh, there they are. They're hiding. Now this is my ice cream, so I'm gonna pat it down on the ice cream a little bit so it kind of sticks on it. Sorry, <laughs> cell phone rang. That's never happened when I was broadcasted. All right, so we got some good sprinkle layers going on there. Ah, I put my spoon in the sink. Shouldn't have did that. Can't win here. Can't try to get the last of the sprinkles off. There we go. Of course, more fell on. Someone's probably going to complain about the clanking I'm doing there. All right. Let's try this one more time with the syrup. I think I went a little bit overboard there. There you go. All right. chocolate off the car. Not a big chocolate sauce fan, but uh, it does make it look pretty, right? And if you don't mind, I'm going to take a picture or two. Get it under the light. Let's look at it before I start to eat it. All right, see if I'm in focus here. In a frame, I should say. Yep, looks good. So here's a really close up look at that. I know the ice cream is going to be good. <clears throat> a little bit of a slob. 
Now, break some of that cookie off. I love patellas. When we make them, we, I do uh, give give them out as well. We'll put them in stacks. I have to scrub the Ziploc bag, and I can't help myself. I don't need a whole stack of those things. Anyway, does anybody uh, have any questions? So, my recipe for this, I'll go back over it again, just in case. I'll talk in full batches. Eight eggs, two cups of sugar, a cup of corn oil, vegetable oil, and then whatever flavoring you want to use. Some people like vanilla, some people like the anise oil or whatever liqueur you want to use. You're not going to get drunk from it when you cook it. That all boils off. You mix that up good, and then I add five cups of flour, give or take. It really depends how large those eggs are. If you're using extra large eggs, you're going to do five, five and a half or so. Uh, those eggs were small, and that's why I had too much flour in there, unfortunately. But actually, it still came out pretty good. Beanie, are you going to go off and buy one of these and make it? Someone earlier said they liked my breakfast bowl. I'm uh, trying to see who it was. Uh, yeah, that was you, Bean. Rich by your foot. Oh yeah, you don't know, don't add any yeast. Um, it's it. some people say baking powder or something like, no, nope, none of that. Eight eggs, two cups of sugar, one cup of oil, the flavoring you want, you know, you add more or less depending how you like it, and the flour, and that's it. And they're awesome, and it's simple, right? Not adding salt, not adding uh, yeast, nothing, nothing like a baking soda, but nope, that's it. And I can assure you, when you find the right, make it in smaller batches first, so you find the right taste that you like, and then go from there. Do one egg. So one egg, uh, like a third cup of, you know, do the math, you know. Two eggs was easy, you know, it was like two, and then a, a half a cup of a sugar, a quarter cup of oil, and then a little flavoring, and then about a cup of flour, and the cup was a little too much, actually. Okay, so Mr. Krasker, again, thank you very much for joining. David, thank you. Uh, Beanie, uh, Mommy, and Natalia. Uh, oh, geez, I'm sorry, Sub Suburban Barbecue. I'm very sorry, I did not see you join. Apologies. Jack, yeah, I saw you in there. Cereal bowl. Now, I'm thinking about the cereal bowl again. The only one thing I would worry about the cereal bowl is you wouldn't be able to get the milk out of the crannies and make it a little soggy there. But, now, what if... I have to think about it. Yeah, now you're making me think. I have an idea, perhaps. Uh, I'm going to use your recipe, but next time I'm going to try it with coconut extract. Yeah, whatever flavoring you want. Most people use vanilla. Because uh, uh, the hard alcohol, the anise oil is very expensive. Um, you know, a lot of those are expensive. But it ha you have to do it to your taste. And I've learned, I've been making them for since I was a kid. You know what I mean? I make the batter. Uh, but I wouldn't, be when I would do it, I'd tell my mother I want to make them. I'd make the big bat batch. And halfway through, I just couldn't sit over the hot iron anymore. You know what I mean? I was just like, okay, I'm done. Because I'd be breaking the pizzellas, scooping them in the batter, and eating them while I was doing it. So you're like, ah, you know. <laughs> dip bowl. Now that's a good point. Now the question is, is what for what kind of dip? So you'd want it to go with it. So what if like an idea is you get a tortilla, big tortilla, maybe two of them for the thickness, and you put it in this bowl, right? And then you make some queso. 
and you put it in there, all right? Or uh, for the waffle bowl, what could you do for the waffle? You know what might be fancy? Maybe you're serving breakfast to a bunch of people. You make the waffle bowl so people can eat them, but you also put uh, strawberries in them or just put all the... Uh, the uh, cor the syrup and the maple syrup or whatever, and people would just pour it out of there. Hmm? Chili bowl? Yep. What's your idea for making a, a bowl for the chili? What kind of uh, bread in it? Like the taco bowl that I made or something else? Marshmallow and cream cheese. Is that true? No. I don't know if the marshmallow and cream cheese would stay together. But what if you do marshmallow, cream cheese, and maybe some, uh, uh, this may sound weird, but graham cracker, something that can help with the adhesion in the bowl. Like if you were making a, a pie, you know what I mean? Graham crackers. And a little moisture to hold it together. You'll probably have to turn the waffle bowl upside, maker upside down to get it out because you definitely will probably break that trying to pull it out. Yeah, fluffer nutters. When I was a kid, I loved fluffer nutters. I would just skim on the peanut butter, but I put a big layer of uh, fluff. Now I'm gonna go off and buy some fluffing out right now. Now I'm gonna need some peanut butter too. It was always skippy and always uh, the fluff. I'll use my recipe and fill with chili. Do you think that would be better with like the waffle recipe? Because this comes with a few recipes, you know. Like uh, wheat, it comes with a cookie recipe as well. Um, I'm trying. What what do people have with chili? Which, as far as with it. I've only had chili once, I think. I'm not a fan of beans. And uh, so usually when I have it, it doesn't have the beans in it. That's why I make my case so I get the uh, Hormel chili, no beans. Oh. My napkin disappeared. You get to eat the chili and the bowl. Yeah, and that's with everything. Like. That bowl is still crunchy, by the way. And delicious. Any more ideas? I mean, anything that you put a bowl in, like the breakfast bowl was an awesome idea, I think. You know? I don't think I, I don't know if I've actually invented something like that, you know what I mean, the fir a first, but, I don't know if that was a first, but I've never seen it, and it's perfect, tater tot, so it's basically a hash brown bowl for your breakfast. So, what could you add in the batter, could you use, I don't want to say a powdered gravy, but something in that mixture is the gravy, you know, I think savory, you think of like a gravy, you know what I mean? Okay, a quick wave goodbye. Bye! <laughs> I love you. Bye, I love you too. My sweet little All right. My sweet little baby. Okay, Mr. Krasker. 
we'll see you later. Thank you very much for uh, visiting yet again. So I think this came to an end. And uh, I'm going to look at your suggestions. If you have any other ones, just make sure you put it on this video when it's posted an hour or later. Um, so again, thank you for joining me. Some of you have been here three times today. I really appreciate that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's important. I appreciate it. Please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you know when I put out the videos. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. David, thank you very much. Sticky dabs. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, did you just join? I feel like you, you missed it. You're going to have to wait for it to uh, go full video in about an hour. Oh, uh, um, I think you could go back right now, to the beginning of the video. If not, as soon as I stop the video, it takes about a half an hour to an hour to start processing. And then... You'll be able to watch it. You'll get notification, I believe. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Biscuit batter. About a sub. Just join me. A sausage gravy in it. Yeah. All that, I think, is going to be good. All right, everybody. Again, I appreciate you joining me. Thumbs up. Subscribe. See you on the next one. Thank you very much. I really appreciate everything you've been doing for me.